Oh man, I broke my hatch the last time I had the 24 out. Forgot to tape it up, the hatch flew off. <laughs> and uh, basically, basically, yeah, I've got to fix the holes. Oh, oh man. So I'm gonna be putting three different adhesive sealants to the test. We're gonna try water well, mill putt, putty, and plastic bonder. We're gonna do three different tests. We're gonna uh, basically put some on the hatch in a test area, see how well it bonds to the hatch. I've got a piece of plastic. We're going to put one of each on and try to bond the plastics together. And third, we're going to kind of ball it up in a ball, see how well it mills, sands, and uh, just basically hit it with a hammer and see how tough it is. So uh, stick around, stick around, don't blink, don't blink. Big B here with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Ring those bells and all the whistles. <laughs> yeah. So uh, stick around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's dig in. Let's get let's get to it. Uh, we've got the water well, JB plastic binder in the mill putt. Uh, we're gonna start off with uh, some 180 brand new 180 grit, and I uh, just want to rough up the surface. That way we have a good adhesion, a nice uh, roughed up surface for all those little things to grab onto. A conspicuous place that we could possibly scrape it off or sand it off if we needed to. That's not gonna be noticeable. I'm gonna put foam. In this area so it won't be noticeable once I put my piece of foam in here so it's actually a good spot to start uh, let's mix up our JB weld this comes in a stick and I usually just kind of cut it with a pair of scissors it's two-part once you cut it you'll see the inside has a gray tint that's your two-part epoxy, basically. Uh, this is the water weld, like I said, by JB Weld. Uh, this is like formulated to bond things together underwater. This will actually cure underwater. Now, the plastic bonder won't cure up underwater. Mill putt putty will not cure underwater. So that is awesome. If you have a boat, a leak, you know, you get a crack in your hull, uh, this would be the ticket right here. Even like, <laughs> If you're out at the lake and you got a crack and you still had batteries charged and you wanted to go uh, run your boats, this is the ticket. You stick it on there, it's real sticky. You see how it's sticking to my fingers? Uh, and, it, and, it, and it dries fast. Under, underwater. I'm just going to put it on one spot. You see that? Hopefully I can like scrape it off or sand it off. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully it bonds so good that we, <laughs> we, we, you know, it's, it's there forever. <laughs> but uh, the likelihood of that is <laughs> slim to none. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm going to take the rest of this. I'm going to rough it up like I did this one. And we're going to bond these two pieces together with the plastic weld. See how strong that is tomorrow as well. So I'm just going to put it on the, on the plastic here and squeeze it together nothing fancy no no clamps or nothing like that let me go get my hands washed up and we'll do the mill putt putty next man that stuff was hard to get off my hands i had to use one of my wife's uh sink sponges she's gonna kick my ass <laughs> but uh i just balled up the rest of it in a little ball we'll, we'll kind of compare hardness uh between the water weld and the mill putt putty when it's all cured out tomorrow yeah fun little experiment yeah, so maybe we'll do more videos like this, testing out sealants and, and adhesives, you know, for different materials, different plastics, ABS, poly, polycarbonates, uh, fiberglass, you know, we'll do different different little tests like this in the future. I think it'll be a kind of a fun thing to do and a, and a good learning experience for everybody. So I'm going to get a little bit of this mill putt. It's uh, not quite as gooey, as sticky as the water weld. I guess the resin is, but the hardener is kind of hard, so it's not quite as bad and messy as the water well. Mill putt putty, you can make uh, like accessories, crawler accessories for for your you know RC crawlers. Made this gun out with it, toolbox, but it's really cool. Uh, hard, hard medium. I'm surprised at how well this mill putt putty sticks to plastic, and it's not gooey as you can see. It's like a almost like a play-doh type consistency 
So again, we're gonna put it in our little test spot. Mixed it way too much. But um, this stuff here, it don't like lay down good, so you have to actually force it and like push it and ply it into the surface that you're putting it in, which is actually good. And, and the rougher the sandpaper is for putties like this and adhesives, the rougher it is and cleaner it is, the better it's gonna stick to it. The harder you press and, and prod, it's gonna stick to it much better. So now that we got the water well, the mill putt out of the way, um, I wanted to uh, show you the consistency of this JB weld. It's like a, almost like a, like a cream, you know? Like a thick epoxy or an epoxy that's had uh, filler bubbles added to it. And I'm gonna mix it up for you. It's nice and creamy, so it'll actually stay where you want it if it's had time to kick off, you know? But if you go to put this on, like, right after you've mixed it, you're gonna have trouble keeping it where you want it at, you know? It's gonna squeeze out or squeeze into all your little crevices, which is kind of what you want. Put a little bit more on here, just so you guys know that was plastic bonder, because I had done that beforehand. So yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get this balled up into a ball, and we can check, check these two for strength brittleness sandability that type of thing before all this stuff dries you guys drop a comment which one you think is going to be uh the best for our hatch personally i think the water weld or the plastic bonder um, but we'll see we'll see drop a comment what do you guys think the mill putt plastic bonder plastic weld has all cured out on the on the hatch lid and our two little balls we made to test for sanding, filing, and drilling are cured, cured as well. Let's start with the mill putt putty. All right, the mill putt, oh wow. I didn't even hardly put any pressure on it at all. It just pulled right apart. So the mill putt putty is not a good like adhesive, okay? It won't bond things together very well. Let's see how well it files. Okay, so it files really good. It also drills very well, okay? It drills good. It doesn't feel as hard as the water weld. The water weld seems harder now let's see if it's stuck to the hatch. We sanded the hatch, all right? We sanded it, kind of prepped it up. Let's see if it sticks, if we could peel it off. All right, so it's stuck to it pretty good. It's kind of brittle. You see I pulled a few pieces off of it. All right, so it did kind of peel up a little bit. I can't get the rest of it off. All right, so it's stuck pretty good. It just, a few little edges fell off of it when I tried to pull it off. So, it sticks to plastic, but it seems like it's a little softer than the water weld. So let's do the water, the water weld test. And uh, let's see if we can pull this off. <sighs> I'm like pulling hard. Over there so the water well seems like it bonds good it will work as a glue to glue things together with let's see how hard it is all right so um so this is a piece that i've put a mark on with a marker let's see if it'll we can file it off All right, so it's actually harder than the mill putt putty, but it we and we can file it, you know. But this one, this mill putt isn't all the way cure. It takes longer to cure than the mill than the water weld. Here's a big piece of mill putt that I have, and it's been sitting around for a couple weeks, and it's like rock hard. This one here, you can feel it's still soft, so it's not cured all the way, and the water weld cures the fastest 
All right, so it definitely, it feels harder, like I said, than the, than the mill putt. But it actually drilled a nice hole right through it. So it drills good and mills good. The mill putt and the water well. Let's see how good it bonds compared to the mill putt. So I'm going to try to peel it off. Ew. Oh man, that's some good stuff. That is some good stuff, y'all. Yep, I like the water weld. Officially. I just chipped a little piece off the corner. Right there. You see that little piece chipped off? Off the water weld? But it's not coming off the hatch. I'm about to break the hatch trying to get it off. So that's awesome. So with plastic so far, the water weld is on top, okay? So far the water weld's on top. It bonds good, it files good, it mills good, drills good, and it sticks to the hole good. You could use this water weld as a filler, an adhesive, or a sealant. Well, not so much a sealant. If you're trying to seal up a hole, yeah, but uh, not like in between hardware. So we're gonna try the plastic bonder and see how well it stands up compared to the mill putt and uh, water weld. So we're gonna try our test piece first as a glue. All right, so I'm trying to like spin it off. All right, it's not breaking. That's how I broke the water weld was actually spinning and twisting off. The mill putt, as you guys seen, just broke off. So let's uh, let's try to spin it. Look at my knuckles turning white. How hard I'm pull pulling it. <clears throat> Damn, it's on there. All right, so spinning it off, it's it's, it's still together. Let's. Tr All right, <laughs> so it just broke loose, breaking it like this. So if you were to use this as an adhesive, I think this is going to be the best out of the three for an adhesive. So we weren't able to use the plastic bonder as like, you know, like we did the mill putt and the water weld in that aspect because it's a lot creamier. So this definitely um, is a good bonding material because it will get into all the little crevices. The water weld and mill putt is, is more for like filling areas, filling voids. Um, if there's a big hole in something and you need to patch it, need it to be filled, these two would be the best for that in an RC boat. So let's see how the plastic bonder stood up to the plastic test. All right. And all right, so it's uh it's actually on there pretty good also. So the water weld and the plastic bonder so far is the best. For sticking to plastic like actually it's just like sticking gripping and holding the plastic the mill putt is basically for filling like and leveling places uh, if you got holes or voids mill putt will be a great filler here's a little example it's a little mini mono that i, I made i built and i and i actually water welded the motor mount into place and it's holding up great. On the bottom of the boat, I've used mill putt putty to fill in the jet pump hole, but it's come it's come loose. You see that? So if I wish I would have used water weld under the under the boat below the water line, it might not have come loose. And I wish I would have used the plastic welder on the motor mount. But the water weld has actually been working really well and I've had no issues with that so far but I think the plastic bonder may have been a little bit better choice but just food for thought not so much a glue now these two are gonna be our glues and I think I'm gonna use them together okay I think I'm gonna use the plastic bonder to actually bond the plastic together all right and then I'm going to kind of, while it's tacking up, I think I'm going to apply the water weld to the plastic bonder to back for strength. Hammer time. 
let's put the mill put putty and water weld up against the hammer and see how tough they are all right so hit it and it just kind of flattened it out because I don't think this piece is fully cured out and I might not have mixed it up well enough so this is one that's been curing for about a, a two weeks and it's hard hard so I'm gonna hit that one with the same amount of strength Make sure it's cured out because that mill putt putty gets extremely hard. All right, let's try it again. Hard as a rock. All right, I just hit it pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, so that mill putt's hard. All right. That It's not fully cured. That's why it did that. Probably should have waited another 24 hours. All right, so let's do the hammer test with the, with the water weld. That's the soft side of mallet. Let's try the hard side. So that water weld's extremely hard. Oh, I just cracked it. Just cracked the water weld. All right. Oh, it just broke into a thousand pieces. All of them cracked or broke it at one point or another. So um, the water weld and mill putt putty is hard hard as a rock basically in conclusion i think the jb plastic bonder would be best as an adhesive okay that was um it, it's thin and creamy so it gets down in all the little like nooks and crannies and will grab the material you're bonding uh make sure you sand it and prep it before you use it mill putt is going to be the best for like filling in large holes or voids that you need to kind of shape and and conform so i think mill putt would be the best for that <clears throat> water weld is going to be a great all around it's going to be a good bonder and a good uh filler uh, you could shape it you could sand it file it drill it uh and it's small it's two part easy to work with a little messy but uh, that's a good all around, like for, for filling voids, holes, and uh, bonding. So um, they all kind of pass their own test, you know, in their own way. So uh, you take it as you will, take it as you want. But uh, I, I personally like the plastic bonder and, well, I like all three of them. They all work good for different like parts. I've already started my hatch. The video will be out uh, soon for how to fix the hatch. Um, but I'm going to use two of them. I'm going to use the plastic bonder as my first layer. And then I'm going to actually use the water weld to back it all up. Um, so they all performed well. I hope you guys uh, learned something. It was a fun little experiment. And maybe we'll do something like this in the future. You know, uh, test different sealants, different, um, you know, silicones on, on plastic on, or on fiberglass. And see which ones are, should be your go-to. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Big B. With Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good, good. Ring the bells and all those whistles to get notified for future bills, future projects. Money back, back, new click, new whip, never put it back, payback, click, clack, bang. I'm watching like a zombie.